Hello everybody! Welcome to another lesson by me, Miss Pythagoras. In this lesson, I will explain Euclidean geometry, more specifically the midpoint theorem. This is lesson 2 of 11. The midpoint theorem is a special case of the theorem lying parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides in the same proportion. If a line segment joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, the line will be parallel to the third side and equal to half of the third side. And the abbreviation that we will use is the midpoint theorem. Now given is AD is equal to DB and AE is equal to EC. The deduction is that DE is parallel to BC and BC is twice the length of DE. So if BX if BC is 2X, then DE will be X. And BC equals twice DE can also be written as half of BC is equal to DE. Now the converse of the midpoint theorem states, if a line segment joins the midpoint of one side of a triangle and is drawn parallel to another, it bisects the third side and is equal to half of the length of the side that it is parallel to. And the abbreviation we will use is the converse of the midpoint theorem. Now it's given that AD is equal to DB. And DE is parallel to BC. Then the deduction is that AE is equal to EC. And DE is half of BC. Let's start with the first example. In triangle GHJ, GL is equal to LH and GM is equal to MJ. Point M lies on line LK and GJ. LH is parallel to KJ. And HJ is equal to 50 centimeters. Now, what's the question? We have to prove that H, J, K, L is a parallelogram. Now, let's see. We know that LH is parallel to KJ. That was given. LM has to be parallel to HJ and the reason is it's the midpoint theorem. Therefore, we can say that HJKL is a parallelogram and the reason is that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. The next question says determine the length of LM. Now, do you agree LM is half of HJ and the reason? The midpoint theorem. Therefore, we know that HJ was 50, so LM is half of 50, therefore it's 25 centimeters. Before we continue, have you subscribed yet? And a reminder. You can also visit my website, onlinemats.co.za. The link is in the descriptions below. 
Also, feel free to leave a comment or like my video. Let's continue with the maths. Let's do another example. In the diagram below, HJ is equal to JK. HP is equal to PL. And JP is equal to PM. We have to prove that K, J, M, L is a parallelogram. Now, do you agree? In triangle H, K, L, on the left hand side, we have H, J equals J, K. That's given. We also have that H, P is equal to P, L. That's also given. Therefore, we can say that JP is equal to a half of KL and we can say that JP is parallel to KL and the reason why we can say that is it's the midpoint theorem. But we know that JP is equal to PM that was given. Therefore, JM is equal to KL. And now we can say that KJML is indeed a parallelogram and the reason is one pair of opposite sides equal and parallel. Let's do another example. In triangle PST, PU is equal to UT and RV is equal to 14 centimeters. It is also given that PQ is equal to QR is equal to RS. We have to calculate the length of TV. We can start by saying PQ is equal to QR and PU is equal to UT and that's given. Therefore, we can say that QU is parallel to RT and the reason is it's the midpoint theorem. Since we have that QU is parallel to RT, we can also say that QU is parallel to RV. Now we can say QR is equal to RS. That was given. Therefore, QU is equal to twice RV and that is the converse of the midpoint theorem. Then we know it was given that RV's length is 14, therefore QU is twice 14, which is 28. Then we can say that RT is equal to twice QU. It's the midpoint theorem. We know QU's length was 28, therefore RT is 56 centimeters. And now that we know RT's length, we can go to VT will be equal to the whole of RT minus RV, which is 56 minus 14. Therefore, VT's length is 42 centimeters. Let's do another example. In triangle P, Q, W. S is a point on P, W and R is a point on Q, W such that S, R is parallel to P, Q. T is a point on Q, W such that S, T is parallel to P, R. RT's length is 6 centimeters and WS to SP, the ratio, is equal to 3 to 2. We have to calculate the length of WT. Now, first of all, 
Do you agree when the ratio WS to SP is given, we can also write it as WS over SP, and that will be equal to 3 over 2. But it's also given that ST is parallel to PR. Therefore, we can say that WT over TR is equal to WS over SP, and our reason is line parallel one side of a triangle. And now we are looking for VT's, WT's value, and we can substitute. In TR's place, we substitute 6, it was given, and then the ratio WS over SP, that one was given as 3 over 2. And now we can multiply away the 6, therefore WT's length is equal to 9 centimeters. And we will use that in the next slide. Now the question wants us to calculate the length of WQ. We know that WT is equal to 9 centimeters, and that was from the previous slide. So now we can say WR is equal to WT, this one, plus TR, which is 9 plus 6, and therefore WR's length is 15 centimeters. So that whole length is 15. We can say that PQ is parallel to SR because that was given. Therefore, WR over RQ is equal to WS over SP. Why? The line parallel to one side of a triangle. Then we can substitute in WR's place 15 over RQ, that's what we're looking for, is equal to, and then it was given that WS over SP is equal to 3 over 2. And then we can multiply and solve RQ, and we end with 15 times 2 over 3, which is 10. Then we can say WQ is equal to WR plus RQ. 15 plus 10, and the length of WQ is 25 centimeters. In the next lesson, I will discuss how to prove triangles similar. Click on the video in the left-hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.